and so long as men die, liberty will never perish. What's going on YouTube? It is Greg Lock Fitness here. And the videos have not been consistent, have they? No. Why haven't they? My sleeping pattern shoot. So I'm trying to fix my sleeping pattern at the moment. It is absolutely horrific. So I thought I will sleep for like three hours and then go to the gym. So at the moment it's 11.47am so I slept for like, I think I did, I slept 3am until 6am and then I went to the gym and trained with Dan and then I think the sleeping pattern is fixed now. I've just come back from uni um, editing this video so I'm just going to do a voiceover for this video. It's just a back and biceps bodybuilding sort of video. So yeah, I'm extremely sorry again for the um, lack of videos but there's nothing I can really say like to apologise to be fair. The sleeping pattern has been terrible which you know I have to get on track. I mean I don't want to be going to the gym at night all the time that's why I really like training this morning at um, six o'clock or whatever I trained and I broke a PB. I mean I haven't deadlifted for like a week. I deadlifted today and got a PB of 190. Just hit the camera there. So yeah 190 kg new personal best on deadlift and I hit a personal best today on bench press 130 but I wasn't recording for some reason so yeah take my word for it all. You'll see it in future videos so I'm trying to get like I don't try and do a video every day because it's going to be hard to stick to so I'll say three videos a week and then I'll try and build it from there but even three videos a week I think that's pretty fair for um, a university student although to be honest the only excuse I have is the bad sleeping pattern there is no other excuse for not getting videos up and bad sleeping pattern obviously is caused from just like not having to be up in the morning so not waking up in the morning hair is looking on fleek just want to give a little shout out to Matt, my barber. Also, talking about shout outs, a course mate of mine, Dan Cleverly, he makes vlogs now. He's actually doing daily vlogs at the moment. His vlogs are really good. He's got a very, very, very funny personality, haven't you, Dan? So yeah, Dan Cleverly, I'll put you a link in the bio, just go and subscribe to him. Um, so yeah, as you can see at the moment, we're just hitting some back. This is from like, two weeks ago and I'm only editing it now which is pretty bad but yeah at least I'm being straight and I'm being honest like the only reason the videos haven't been there is because of the shoot 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 I've got this Irish accent speaking to loads of Irish people now so my accent's kind of um, really Irish so shout out to all the Irish people talking about Ireland Conor McGregor so he went up two weight classes to fight Diaz and to be fair, I think he did extremely well, considering he did go up two weight classes and jumped straight into that fight. Um, I mean, obviously people are like, oh, he's getting cocky, he's getting cocky and all that, and he shouldn't be getting cocky, but that's just his way. Some people are calm, collected, like David Hay, a boxer, if you know who that is, he, he's the type to get cocky. Look at that redness I've got off the curtain. <laughs> but yeah, that's just his way of doing things, and obviously when Diaz smacked him in his jaw he got a little bit cocky himself because you know that's just how people will react in different ways so yeah I think he did extremely well to be fair with moving up two weight classes I think he weighed in at like 78 was it 78 kilograms or something like that 76 77 78, something like that um, and he obviously dominated the first round but it didn't seem like his hits his punches I should say because he didn't really hit any kicks he tried to hit some kicks but he didn't um, I should say his punches didn't seem like they were hard enough. I know Diaz was bleeding a lot, but it was just like scar tissue above his eye that was um, broken open. So, <sighs> good fight all in all. Like he said, he'll see him again soon, so we'll see what happens. He just needs to practice more of that weight. So if you see on this video at the moment, um, the colour might be slightly different because on the editing software that I've used, I've tried to put colour cor correction in so I don't know if it's worked but I think it looks alright before I was noticing my lips were very red and everything so yeah I need to get a chest video up everyone's like asking for a chest video so a chest <laughs> but yeah I definitely need to get a chest video up uh, show for like how strong I am on chest it's, it's probably one of my most impressive muscle groups like um, you saw me doing the 50s if you saw the other video um, 
and I've got like 60s on dumbbell flat for two reps so, and 130 bench, 10 reps of 100 as well, it's not that bad. So yeah, I hope you like this style of video, I thought I'd, I'd try and do it, it's not hard to do a video, it's not hard to edit a video for me, it's just like keeping consistent and um, it's not being, I can't be bothered to, but it's like, why train and record it when it's going to be crap footage because my sleeping pattern is rubbish, or should I say, shoot. So yeah, it will increase and I will get three to five videos up. I need to review a pre-workout and need to do other reviews such as like supplements that I've used, um, proteins, creatines, all that stuff. Any, any um, video ideas or anything you want to see, just let me know. So it's been Greg Lock Fitness and Dan on the video. Remember to go and subscribe to Dan Cleverly. I'll put his link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching guys.